the best record of all the non-league sides in the FA Cup belongs to Altrincham. 14 league opponents beaten by the legendary giant killers. They might be leaner and younger these days, but they all remember the goals of Jackie Swindles. Heady days for the Robins like 1975 at Goodison Park. In 1979 it was White Hart Lane and a famous draw against the mighty Spurs. And in 1981 they were at Anfield with Captain John King summing up their cup fighting spirit. I think what it is, I think it goes down to being in here as well, you know. You know the heart, if you want to go out and have a go, you go out and have a go. You know, it's like if you're fighting a guy, you know, you're not going to let him knock it all over the place. You, if you've got a bit of that in you'll get up and have a go back at him, won't you? 1988 finds King back in charge at Moss Lane for the second time. He returned to a struggling side at the beginning of September. His record since, one defeat in 13 league games. And in the cup, Lincoln City became the latest league side to perish, courtesy of John Timmons' first half goal that just squeezes in. While in the second half, Ronnie Ellis, first with a close-range header, and then with a volley, sealed another memorable win. What is it that makes the FA Cup so special for you here? I don't know. I think it's a very professional club. I think the directors force the team into the fact of having a go to get the publicity for the club. It's as simple as that. The, the club is professional, even though it's a, a part-time setup here. Very professional team. Very professional team, meaning the whole setup, from directors down to the tea lady. Twenty years ago, a cigar-smoking scrap metal dealer, Freddie Pye, stamped his brand of chairmanship on Altrincham. A big car was the almost obligatory badge of office. Chairman these days are no different. The style of car might have changed, but the style of Altrincham remains exactly the same. Company director Jeff Lloyd bought financial control of the club at the beginning of February. That was a few months after Tommy Doherty had arrived in a blaze of publicity. As far as the dock was concerned, Altrincham was the Manchester United of non-league football. One of Jeff Lloyd's first decisions was to show him the door. Tommy had been with us a few months and uh, we expected him to do a little bit more than he did. Uh, I think he, he tended to think of it as the Tommy Doherty Roadshow rather than Altrincham Football Club. Unfortunately, commitment's got to be 100% at Altrincham Football Club. Well, Moss Lane's been getting a fresh lick of paint for today, but as far as the chairman's concerned, he has other fish to fry. We think we've got a potential second division club here. Obviously, the first stage would be the fourth division. Hopefully, part-time. We believe that... Uh, Part-time football has got a place in the fourth division. We think we could win it part-time. But first things first, Halifax have to be beaten today. Gary Stewart, brother of Paul, gets treatment, while Jeff Whelans, the former Birmingham and Manchester United keeper, warms up for the big day. A week ago, it was league action against those other cup giant killers, Yeovil, and a 3-2 away win indicates they're ready for the challenge. I rather fancy the terraces will be a bit fuller today than they were at Yeovil last week. Commitment to training is all part of the preparation. The team are put through their paces with almost military precision. Moss Lane won't be the most welcoming place for the opposition, and the Robins have a secret weapon ready to unleash on Halifax. Frank Sidebottom is their biggest fan. There he is, third from the left. Because the team's coming, the crowd all roar and kick off. Win, lose or draw, the only team for me is Altrincham FC. All the Robins, Aunt Robins, says me. Frank, Frank, can we, can we, just, can we just stop you there? Yeah. What do you think, seriously, Altrincham's chances are on Saturday against Halifax? Well, I think probably they're going to win. Right, definitely. Yes. Unless they draw or lose. Right. Take it away, Fred. 
Well, you can hear that uh, match of the day tune for.